many students have difficulty uh, writing numbers and they have difficulty with the orientation, particularly threes and fives and sevens. Which way round do they go? So I'm going to show you two different ways that can help students. So the first way is the grid method. Now in the grid method, students then would write everything starting in the top left. So here we go, one, starting top left, two, starting top left, three, starting top left, four. Number five still starts top left, down, around, hat on afterwards. Six starts top corner, seven starts top corner, eight is never a problem. And then the only one that doesn't follow that is naughty nine, because in number nine, you need to start on the right hand side and then come around that way. So there we've just got naughty nine, everything else starts in the top left hand corner and practicing writing them into the grid is a good way of practicing and giving them some strategies to help them remember which way to go. Now the other method is what I call the hand method. So I've deliberately got here a left hand because most students are right handed. You could do this um, left handed as well. So if we were going to go with this one, if we're going to draw number one, number one comes down here into this space here. One. Two links around the thumb like so three also links around the thumb like so four fits in this space here five it's going to come down and link around the thumb again six can sit in this space here seven goes out here Eight is never an issue. Nine, you put this part into here and then go down. And then when you get to 10, which generally isn't much of an issue, the one goes here and then you can put the zero next door. Hope that gives you some ideas, um, some ways to practice writing the numbers and give students some ideas. You possibly don't need to teach every single one of these numbers, maybe just the couple that are presenting a difficulty for your student. Um, you can find more information at tracyashbridge.com. Thank you.